Hi, this is Daniel at DailyStruggles.org. Uh, I wanted to give a very brief tutorial on how you would configure the Cairo Dock. Uh, Cairo Dock, if you don't have it, uh, you can just simply open your terminal and enter the command uh, sudo apt-get install Cairo Dock, and that will walk you through the steps of installing your dock. You can also get it through the Ubuntu Software Center by searching for dock and you will see glx dock and uh, you can install that but it will also have Cairo dock sitting beside it so it's easy to understand or you can open your uh, system administration and go to synaptic package manager and it will uh, if you search for Cairo dock it will uh, give you uh, the program or it'll give you the link to the program that you can install. Um, once you have it installed it'll either be under the accessories menu and you start it from the accessories menu or it'll be on your system tools menu. Uh, once you start the dock by clicking on it then uh, it'll open up the dock. Once the dock is open all you do is you right click anywhere on the dock itself and you bring up configure I already have that window open right now and <clears throat> how you would configure the dock uh, you just basically go to the all tab and or all category and the position dictates where you want the dock to be set uh, whether it's top bottom and the distance to the edge or you can set it on the sides also um, uh, you can also if you have any questions about anything, uh, the help button uh, gives you a very, uh, how can I resize my icons? It gives a lot of common asked questions uh, that you can uh, set up your, your dock and uh, have it work better and more functionally that you, you want it just like your settings are. Um, other things that you can set up is how it pulls off of your CPU. Uh, how the labels are read, uh, how, how files are sorted, and if you show or don't show hidden files. Uh, those are some of the things that you can set through system. The taskbar is uh, like you see the CD and there's another icon sitting like next to that, that's Meijong. Those are the two programs that I have currently open. Um, other is accessibility. I've never used this setting, but uh, some of the things that you can set are uh, keep the dock below other windows or pop up only if the mouse hits a screen corner. Um, some of the other settings that you can change are the most common settings that you can change are your background, the background that the dock is. Uh, how the dock disp displays labels, what type of text, the size of text, and whether it displays labels or not. Uh, the icons, the size of the icons, and uh, some of the features that the icons have, uh, like the space between them, whether you use a theme or you don't. Um, you can also click on icon size down here. This is where you would change your icon size. You can also jump from here to the uh, an animation or the special effects or uh, disappearing and reappearing uh, icons. <clears throat> so if we jump to that, this is the same as if I click on this one right here. So we'll just go back to the all. Uh, the animation icons. Uh, animation would be how you want the dock to look on animation, uh, whether you want it to bounce or rotate or blink or pulse or uh, wobbly or wave. <coughs> uh, these are all uh, settings that you can choose. And once you choose one of the settings, then you can make fine-tune adjustments to it by clicking on the tab on the, on the top. And that would give you uh, a better uh, control over that particular uh, uh, setting. So if I choose bounce for uh, when I'm hovering over an icon, 
if I wanted the bounce to only bounce a certain height, then I could uh, change the settings in this here, or uh, in order to make it uh, more personalized and act the way that I particularly wanted it to. Um, some of the other settings that you can change are your illusion settings, and this is animation on disappear. Uh, I can set it so where it will uh, have a random setting and animation on appearance I can also set that where it has a random setting and I can set each of these settings just like in the other menu uh, however I wanted that particular animation uh, or illusion effect to uh, react um, some of the other settings that you can change are uh, icon effects and this is the this is the uh, when you hover over an icon uh, you have the rain effect and if I was to click on the uh, if I was to uncheck the rain and click on the fire then instead of having rain I would have fire so each one of these settings can also be controlled by the tabs at the top just like in the previous menu. Um, some of the other settings that you can change are uh, icon indicators. You can also set desk looks, what their behavior is. Uh, you can also uh, you can also uh, add uh, particular icons to your uh, or shortcuts is what I would call them your compiz icon which gives you a shortcut to your compiz settings uh, log out which gives you a quitter uh, setting um, show desktop which is an easy way for me to just click on that and it'll show my desktop um, some of the other things that you can set is to have a trash bin on the dock that way in case you remove your bottom uh, bar then you can have a easily accessible way to dump your trash aside from just setting a trash uh, folder on your uh, desktop um, some of the other things uh, the G menu it gives you the menu just like you have the menu at the top so if I click on that I have accessories terminal tomboy notes take screenshot I have all the accessories that I would basically have through the applications uh, menu and the only thing that it won't give you it'll give you your system but you will not have access to your places uh, your places is actually uh, this would be um, the shortcuts and each one of these I've renamed shortcuts this used to be named shortcuts but each one of these would be able to be renamed or you could take off the text at the bottom or, or uh, however you want to interact. Uh, some of the other things uh, that I do is since I'm running a GNOME desktop or partly GNOME I would say uh, I would uh, click on GNOME integration and I also, uh, also click on VBUS that way I can see uh, it lets external applications interact with the dock and uh, one of the things that a lot of people ask me about is how I get that little penguin to walk around all the way and do tricks and float and do all that stuff at the bottom is no special trick all you have to do is click on the Cairo penguin and you can set up the Cairo penguin to uh, to be on your dock uh, and he'll sit there like right now he's jackhammering but uh, this is how you would configure the Cairo dock uh, to work on a GNOME desktop uh, again this is Daniel from dailystruggles.org and I hope that this tutorial helped you if you would like please leave some comments and your feedback and uh, come and visit me on my website at dailystruggles.org thank you